Hello, trail travelers. It is Carrie and Katarina. We're in Sand Flats out here in Moab, and we're going to do a trail that we haven't done before. We tried to do it before, but it was covered in snow. This is Porcupine Rim. This is going to take a good chunk of hours today. Trails Off Road says it's six hours and an out and back. I do believe there's a road at the end, so we're not sure if we're going to go to the end and turn around and come back or not yet. We'll see how that goes, but we're going to go hit this. Now, what's cool about Porcupine Rim, it is the highest altitude trail in the area. So the views are supposed to be fantastic. And you know we love our views, so and not just YouTube views. We actually like these types of views. So <laughs> we appreciate all the people in Moab this week who have said hi to us. We always appreciate that. If you see us out somewhere, come by, say hi. We love meeting the people who watch the videos. It's a ton of fun for us. But we're gonna go hit Porcupine Trail, see what this one is all about. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Before you get started, you see that little box over on the left-hand side there? There's a registration book in there. Please sign that. This is a very remote trail and it's just for your safety so they know how many vehicles have come in and gone out at the other side. So we're all signed up, we're aired down, we are ready to go. Let's hit it. So we're getting started on Porcupine Rim. I'm kind of excited. We came out here to do this. Um, when was that? Just March. March. And this was just covered in snow and snow and ice. We just didn't feel like it was a really smart idea to uh, try and do this that day. Now, one of the first like intersections that you'll get to is down and left and that is Porcupine 4x4 Trail. It's a totally different trail than Porcupine Rim. That is a whole network of trails down there. And that's the one thing about the Sand Flats area. There are tons of trails, but this is Porcupine Rim. And it is kind of crazy already. I mean, you are on a very steep shelf road that's very narrow and it gets a little tippy here and there. So take your time and work your way through this because this is pretty cool. Well, I think it could be safely said that if you're one of the people who does not like shelf roads, don't come here. Yeah, don't come here. <laughs> this is pretty sketchy uh, and it's definitely some steep shelf road stuff and it's very narrow <laughs> and you get off camber. Yeah, it's, it's out there. This is definitely trippy. That's a big pile of rocks right here. <laughs> Katarina went up and spotted it, or picked a line. The thing is, it's been pretty filled in with rocks. 
So it's not as deep as it probably was at one point or as deep as it should be, but it looks like the line is gonna be pretty basic, but we are probably gonna get tippy a little bit. We'll see how things go. Just watch her climb up this. Okay, good tire placement right there. I like it. Okay, other side's climbing, good. Okay, driver's side's gonna start climbing. Oopsie. Now right here we are at the 1.9 mile mark. Now if you go to the right and up, this is your last chance to exit out of here. Uh, there's no other place to, to leave the trail. And when you're coming back, you can get off on this section too and head back to Sand Flats Road if you want instead of going all the way back to the beginning. So it is a little shortcut to get on the trail and off the trail. But of course, we're going to continue on to the end. So I was just asking Katarina, are you having fun? What do you think? And what was my answer? <laughs> She's having a blast. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. This is a great trail. We are thoroughly enjoying it. It's tons of cool obstacles without being like crazy insane. This is a fun, fun trail. I mean, look at this in front of us. Just these big, you know, gnarly rock climbs, but they're not hard. You just gotta go. And if you hesitate on some of them, that's where you're gonna end up getting stuck. So just stay in it, not fast but just keep that momentum going so that you roll right up the rocks. This section here has got some interesting climbs and some nice shelves. This is Waypoint 5 and Trails Off-Road, and this is kind of the most difficult section here. You gotta just pick a really good line so you don't smack anything real hard. And when you're coming down off these, take it real slow so your suspension doesn't bounce and you end up smacking your rear bumper. But Katarina's doing a phenomenal job on here. And this really is a fun section.
Well, this is like going to top of the world. What a view. Oh my gosh, what a view. Now that overlook is a great place to stop, have some lunch, and if you want, turn around and head back. That is the three mile mark, and you're already pretty far into the trail, but there's six more miles to go, and we found out you have to turn around and come back. So if you are running low on time, turn around now, but if you've got a lot more time to spare, continue on to the end and of course that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to see this trail all the way to the end Well, I've got to say, even the last few miles have been great, but check this out. We had no idea we were right on the side of this cliff. If you stop, get out, take a look, get some pictures, because this will blow your mind that you are literally feet from the edge of the cliff.
like I mentioned, everybody else that we've seen today has turned around, but we are so glad we kept going because if you turned around, you missed a lot of really cool obstacles. Uh, and this one, we got a little tippy here, gotta say, got a little tippy, but Katarina drove through it like a champ and we just kept on going. But this is what you find the further in you go on the trail. Just more cool obstacles. Now there are very few breaks along this trail. At most 30, 40 seconds before you're at another obstacle or some more rocks. If you don't like rough trails with a lot of rocks on them, you, you may not like Porcupine Room. It's not like Hell's Revenge, which is basically smooth because you're on slick rock. This is some very rocky, rough terrain. And by the end of the day, you're gonna feel a little beat up. And then you have to turn around and do it all over again. So this trail will beat you up. Now I am gonna up the pinstripe rating. There are some pretty narrow sections here at the end. You might brush up against something, probably, unless you make a big mistake, let me say. Unless you make a big mistake, you're not gonna gouge your paint. You're not gonna have permanent damage to your paint. You might have to buff some out. That's gonna be about it. But it does get a little tight in some of the areas. Again, and this was, this is only one of the few areas where there's actually kind of a smooth surface and it's not that smooth. We're still driving over rocks. So, not a lot of brakes is what I'm saying. I'm gonna repeat that. Now, if you look off to your left, you're gonna see the beginning of the trail. This is one giant U-shaped trail around the valley. Really amazing that you can literally see where you started from. However, we have just hit the six hour mark. So this is not a short trail. And we have to turn around and do it all over again in the opposite direction. Now with Trails Off Road, it will show you like this is a out and back and it will now say that it's six hours one direction. So. Hopefully we can get out of here quicker, go in the opposite direction. We're gonna air down, give us a little bit more suspension, and we're gonna do the best we can to get out of here before 10 o'clock at night. So that was Porcupine Rim here in Moab in the Sand Flats area. Katarina drove the whole thing. What'd you think of it? I had a closed day. <laughs> it was fun, fun day. It was fun. This is it's not over yet. This is a, a moderate trail without major consequences. You it's you really have to do something stupid to get into trouble here. Now, you see behind us, there's nowhere to go. This is blocked off. To the right over here is another trail that goes out to a place called Matt Martin for our Matt Martin Point. It's another four by four trail. It is dead ends. So there are like three different routes over there, take you to some beautiful cliff areas, but you still have to turn around. We're not gonna bother. It's late in the day. We're gonna get back to camp, have some dinner and relax. I think we're done other than we have to go all the way back to the beginning now. There's no shortcuts out. Thanks for watching everybody. From Katarina and myself, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.